Hi everyone, I'm just going to show you quickly how you can um, get all the Arturia and other VSTs quickly inside um, Ableton Push so you can browse and load and control the presets from inside Push like you do with Ableton's. I get um, something on the screen a bit like this um, so you can see all the VSTs there. You have the Spark Virtual Drum Machine, which comes as part of um, the Arturia V collection, coming up as drum racks, and you can sequence in, in push, um, etc. So the first thing you do, you go to uh, Mableton Audio, uh, you get the packs that we have on offer there, um, and then you'll be sent a download link. And your download link will look a bit like this if you get the whole pack. Um, it'll be all of them, it'll be these, so you download, uh, click on the zip icon there and, and download uh, all of them. And then you're going to go to your downloads folder um, and unzip uh, all of the um, folders there, as I have there, um, and you'll see all the containing folders. Um, and then you want to get another finder window up with, you, a window up with your um, Ableton user library. Uh, find it in Spotlight if you don't know where it is. Um, so here you've got your user library. Um, and what you're going to do is go to user library and then presets and then instruments. And then in the case of the uh, Spark VDM, you're going to go to drum rack. Uh, and for all the others, you're going to go to instrument rack. Uh, so just starting with Spark, what you do is go back to your downloads folder, select the Spark there and then just drag it from this window down into drum rack here and you can see I've already done that, mine is there. Okay, and then after you've done that you're going to take all the others all of the non-drum VSTs uh, and drag those down into instrument rack where you can see I've got all mine there um, already. And next you're going to go to the same destinations uh, in live, so that's um, user library um, and then presets, instruments and then first of all uh, drum rack. Open that up and you'll see the spark that you just put there and finder will be there. Select that, drag and drop it over into places. Uh, you can see I've done that already. And then uh, go to Instrument Rack, find all the others, and drag those over and drop them into places as well. Okay, and then after Places updated itself, uh, and you might need to um, unplug, push, and plug it back in. It takes a while. There's a lot of files uh, there. Um, so it takes a while to update itself, but eventually um, in Places, all of those uh, synths will appear there um, and all of them uh, with all of them you'll be able to browse um, and load up the uh, presets. Now uh, for the instruments take a look at our other videos on um, the Silent and the, the Diva and, and Mini V and Modular V and of course all the other Arturia um, non-drum instruments will be very similar procedure um, to that. For uh, Spark, um, it's slightly different, obviously, being a drum machine. So um, if we take a look at the presets here and load one up, you'll see that will load up there as a, uh, a drum kit in push. Um, and then uh, on the screen, um, it's come up there. Now, uh, as in the Spark, uh, interface you can only see eight pads at a time as you probably know um, so in, in push you can see 16 uh, so that means the the bottom two rows are the ones that you see straight away so if I hit the bass drum there that will correspond to the bass drum here the next one snare there and across like this, and of course you can use all of uh, pushes, sequencing, etc. The top two rows um, are the other 
eight sounds that come with this preset uh, in Spark and of course you don't need to change um, the interface on Spark, you can just use all of these 16 sounds straight away and control them from push without even looking at the screen. Um, but if you did want to see them flashing on Spark um, and see the knobs moving as you move them on push, uh, the ones uh, from the top two rows, um, then you're going to go up to uh, Spark, hit top there, um, and then go down to number nine. Put a little plus there, double click on that, and then when you go back down to uh, the center here, it'll be the second set of sounds. There's no longer kick and snare there at the beginning, it's percussion and percussion in this particular preset. Um, and if I hit my top rows here, that will now be the first one, etc. So now we can just put something simple in here, like a, a bass drum, using push uh, as usual. For example, just to show you now, we'll just put in something that we can uh, tweak easily. Okay, something like this should be good. Okay, now, if we want to find where the knobs are um, to tweak that, we've got to hit device, and then on Spark, because of the way it's configured, we actually need to go and touch very lightly the bass drum here, so that the bass drum appears there. You needn't have to hear the noise of the bass drum, just touch the button and to activate it. And then when bass drum appears, hit this button here, and then hit the in button twice and then all the bangs will appear so now in bank one uh, you've got their number one obviously next to each one for the bass drum which is instrument number one number one corresponds to the number one you can see there number two number three and number two number three along here so taking the bass drum we can change the pitch here If we wanted to, we could record that. And then we see it automated up there. There in the spark. Okay, and then this open hi-hat here is number four. So we'll go to bank two. Is that going to take us to number four? Yeah. There we can see the number four is there. And we'll have a little look at this one. Okay, that's going to change the hi-hats. Let's record a bit of that. Okay, so uh, that was it really, um, pretty horrible drum beat there, but it was just showing you um, how you can instantly get all of Spark Virtual, um, sorry, Vintage Drum Machines presets uh, straight away inside Push, as well as the other VSTs. Um, and in the case of Spark, um, have them as uh, drum racks, fully controllable. Um, and in the case of all the other instruments, as you'll see from our other videos, 
um, also uh, fully loadable and controllable, uh, just like Ableton's instruments. So I uh, hope you have a lot of fun with those.